welcome to another episode of Graham and Anne's Great Adventures. Hope you enjoy our travels. G'day, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to have a look at the power system in a caravan. 240 volt, 12 volt inverters, what your appliances um, require as far as power, um, how much you can run off the inverter, and hopefully a lot of useful information that you can use. I've spent most of my life being an electrician, uh, 45 years in fact, and we had our own electrical contracting business for 26 years. So it's really helped me understand caravans and the technology that's in them these days. And uh, so we'd like to share some information. And we've also got uh, the last couple of camps we've been to. Uh, 2022 in South East Queensland has been fairly wet, so uh, we've actually gone to two caravan parks. One up at Rainbow Beach and uh, one down at Kura Beach. So uh, we've got a little bit more footage of that. So, uh, so I hope you enjoy this episode. Most people with uh, off-road vans do occasionally go to caravan parks. Uh, sometimes you just want to chill out, plug into power and water, do all the washing, get the batteries charged up and uh, not have to be checking things. So uh, this is a van park where we have just been to and uh, we captured quite a few off-road vans of different varieties. So you need a couple of good quality 15 amp leads and uh, when you're going to plug them in, just uh, check this bollard. Here's a very poor example of a uh, outlet that you definitely wouldn't plug your lead into. It's uh, quite burnt. This is uh, being caused by people with faulty leads plugging them in. The plug overheats and then that will in turn damage your good lead if you plug that in. The more load you put on that lead, the worse that will get. It will heat up and you'll end up damaging uh, your lead and plug. So you need to plug it into a different outlet. If there isn't one available, you need to uh, talk to them at the uh, caravan park and uh, see what they can do to help you. Now we're just going to have a look at some appliances. We're actually going to set them up. We're going to tell you uh, how much power they actually draw off your 240 volt side and also what they're taking out of your battery system. Um, I'll give you some figures. I'll put it up on the screen and uh, you'll be surprised what you can actually run off the system in the van if it's set up correctly. And who's Herb? my Thermomix. I uh, use it at home all the time and I've found bringing it camping in the caravan has been great. I've still got plenty of power for it and I'm cooking three different veggies and chicken in it at the moment. So uh, quite a few campers travel with their Thermomix these days. We've said before that uh, the co-pilot won't go anywhere without hers and she's got the TM5. So what we thought we'd do today is something that you probably won't see a lot in caravan testing. We're going to not only test the TM5, but we've also got the TM6 here to test. So before everyone starts sending messages, why are we traveling with two Thermomixes? The TM5 is Anne's and uh, we have house sitters in our house while we're uh, traveling and they've just purchased the TM6. So we thought it'd be a good test today uh, to uh, look at the differences between the, uh, the new TM6 and our TM5. So we're just gonna do another test. We put two cups of water in each Thermomix and uh, we're just gonna have a look at the current and the time that it takes to bring that to the boil. So it was just over six minutes. The gas was three minutes and 46 seconds. So here's a standard taster and most appliances, if you look underneath them, they'll give you what the power rating is. You'll notice on most appliances, it's got the voltage rated from 220 to 240 and there's the wattage. 750 watts, that's its power consumption. So well within the range of the inverter. So here's the induction cooker that we showed you on our last episode. So on the power requirements label underneath. So we're just gonna power it up. We've got enough water in this kettle for two cups of tea, which is uh, what we usually have. So we're going to uh, measure the current, measure the time, and uh, see how much it takes out of the batteries. So this is uh, one of the two banks of batteries. It's currently pulling uh, almost 67 amps. So that's taken 
two minutes to boil that water from coal. After two minutes, the batteries are down to 98%. Uh, we do have a little bit of solar on the roof at the moment, not a lot, um, but that's not a lot of power because it's so quick. Uh, even though it was a large current draw, it uh, boils it within two minutes, which is fairly quick. Standard power for your house, which you plug everything into, is 240 volts at 10 amps. And 10 amps is 2,400 watts. So we're just going to show you the figures as we plug in different items, what the wattage is, and what you can actually draw off that 2,600 watt inverter. The inverter basically gives you the same power that you have at home. 240 volt, um, so you can operate any of your appliances that you uh, plug into a standard power point at home. You can use them through this system. Now with a good quality lithium battery, you can supply a high current for appliances like air fryers, induction cooktops, uh, even your AC. Now this is the uh, Enerdrive inverter. It has what they call a AC transfer switch, which means if you've got the inverter turned on and you plug into mains power, there's no switching that you have to do. It will automatically switch to 240 volt mains power so it is not uh, consuming power off the battery. So on the end of the inverter, um, you have your AC mains coming into here. And this circuit breaker is a RCD, so it's like a safety switch as well as a uh, overload circuit so if it uh, if you do overload it that will trip and you will lose 240 throughout the band now in my opinion the only way to go these days is a good quality lithium battery system uh, the benefits uh, far outweigh anything else if you had two for example two 100 amp hour AGM batteries they'd weigh about 62 kilos if you replace that with one 200 amp lithium battery, that weighs 26 kilos, less than half. When you look at batteries and how much you get out of them, um, it's like filling a tank with water. And uh, AGM batteries, you can only take about 50% out of them before uh, they're considered to be down to their lowest point. Whereas lithium batteries, you can take up to 80% out of them. So you get a lot more power out of the same battery. And the benefit with a lithium battery, it holds its 12 volt through the whole cycle. We opted for two 200 amp hour Enerdrive lithium batteries with 40 amp chargers. And for what we do, it is the perfect system. If these lithium batteries get down to below 20%, they'll actually cut out. They go into a flat battery mode and uh, they have instructions on here on what to do and they have a reset button. You hold that reset button down for about five seconds and if you go through this procedure, it'll tell you exactly what to do to recover your battery. The batteries are fitted with uh, Bluetooth. You can monitor um, on your phone the state of charge, discharge, and how much is left in the battery. We hope that uh, helps you understand the power systems in your caravan a little bit more. And now we're gonna have a look at another couple of uh, great destinations in Southeast Queensland.
Sizzle the Lux, great oven as well as a barbecue. And that's all for this episode. Next week we embark on a 12-month tour of Australia. So we hope to bring you some uh, great footage from out there in Oz in our zone RV. And that's all folks. <laughs>